today we're going to make some homemade potato chips. Now I've dilly dallied around all day and I only have like an hour before I got to go get on the bus and I hope I can get these done. So I'm just going to whiz through these. I'm going to let you watch everything I'm doing, but I'm not going to keep you on here through the whole thing because I'm going to be in a hurry. So um, what I'm doing first is I'm peeling these potatoes, okay? I peeled two potatoes plus I had a few left, had a few in here in this pot. Now you put them in cold water, all right? I got a little mandolin here and I'm gonna, um, I have to be careful with this. I cut the end of my finger off one time when I was cooking at the boys' home and it was not pretty and it was not fun when I had to go to the emergency room, but it is what it is. So then you just put these in the cold water after you get them. Now listen, when you cut them, if you don't have one of these, I got this at Walmart for like 14 bucks. If you know, I used to have Pampered Chef one and I get I got rid of it. Pampered Chef. <laughs> I got rid of it because I was like, I don't ever use this. <sighs> I got rid of it. So I had to go buy me another one. But anyway, um, and this was a lot cheaper than my old one, but my old one was a good one. But anyways, so you want them to do this, okay? They're, they're, you want them to be thin that they'll bend like that, but they'll still hold shape when you hold them up. They won't just fall over. But you want to make sure they bend, okay? And then we'll do this one real quick. I don't know if you can see me or not. You may not want to watch me after I told you what I did. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to bring these to a boil. I'm hoping they'll hurry up. And um, we're going to boil them for 10 minutes. But before we do that, I'm going to swirl these around in here. And you know, potatoes are really starchy. And you know starch turns to sugar and you know that's probably why i like them and i can sit down and i can in my head tell myself i'm just going to eat a handful of these and i eat by the time i'm done half a bag or better is gone so i'm not i don't have real good control over that <laughs> i can't help it so anyways when you get done kind of rinsing these off in cold water the water is going to be real murky and I don't know if you can see it from there and then you're just gonna go pour this off and put in some more cold water but you want to rinse that off of there okay before we get going here so let me go over here and rinse these off real quick and then I'll bring you on the next step I'm just gonna pour the water off of these and pour some more in it okay I'm just gonna I was gonna bring you over here but I'm not going to I'm just gonna I put this in some more water to, you know enough to cover it and then I'm going to I put it on high heat I'm going to bring it to a boil I'm going to boil it for two minutes exactly then I'm going to take it off of the heat okay and then I'll show you what we do next all right don't go nowhere all right y'all I've got this and it's just almost boiling a whole bit two minutes to boil and then we're going to drain it drain all of them and then we're going to put it back in cold water okay you with me are you with me <laughs> we're gonna do that and then we'll be ready for the next step I'll be right back okay now we got these in back in cold water it's not gonna stay cold very long because you just put all these hot potatoes in here okay then we're gonna kind of rinse them again and we're gonna lay them on this Okay, if you don't have these towels, you just use paper towels. But I don't want to spend all the money for paper towels doing this. I use these tea towels, flower sack towels. I use them for everything. I remember my grandma, she used to be in the kitchen. She'd have these slung over her shoulder. <laughs> and she just used them. She had it so handy right there by her for everything. She used it for everything. So that's what I do. And it saves me in paper towels. And then I just wash them. So we're going to lay all these out here. All right, now I'm going to take this other one. Okay. 
Now we're going to put them on one of these. If you don't have one of these, just use a plate. But we need them to dry for about 10 minutes on here, okay, before we put them in our grease. We're going to let them dry, you know, 10 minutes, give or take. When they're feeling dry, then you'll know they're ready. And I just set them here so they can get some air on the underneath too. All right. There's one tray. I'll get him to dry in. I'll do another one. If you just wanted a one-time sitting thing, probably one potato would do enough. Well, I hope I get this done before I have to go. We're going to work. We're going to try really hard. Okay, there's the other one. Now I'll lay some more out. I'll let these sit over here dry. And I'll get back with you guys as soon as I get these ready to put in the grease, okay? After they're dried and I get ready to put them in the grease. So don't go nowhere. Okay, I've got five trays of them. They've been drying. I've got my peanut oil heating up. We're going to heat it up between 275 and 300, right in that area. Um, and we're only at 200, so I'll have to bring you back when it's there. And I've got about 30 minutes, so I'm hoping I can get this done before I have to leave. So, and then I'm going to have a... Well, we'll wait on that. We'll just wait on that. I'll show you that when we get to it. So don't go nowhere, and I'll be right back as soon as my oil heats up, all right? All right. I got my temp. is almost to 300, actually. Um, I'll probably, I turn my heat down a little bit, and I'll probably turn it down a little more. I don't want it to get over 300. And I'm just going to drop these in one by one. I'm not going to overcrowd my pan. And I'm just going to put in that many. Okay, and you're just going to watch them and get you closer. You can turn them a little bit while you're, while they're cooking. I'm going to let them cook a little bit on that side. Yeah, we can go ahead and turn them. And what I was going to show you was, I'll move these. Yeah, I got another rack here. Let me turn this light on. I have another rack here I'm going to put. I am going to put some paper towels under this one because I'm going to throw it away because it's going to catch the grease. You do not want to put your potatoes out of the pan, your greasy potatoes, straight on this paper towel. Is that hot? That's hot. Let's turn this this way. I forgot I had that that one on. So you don't you want to put it put them on the rack and put your paper towel underneath the rack, okay? And we're just going to cook these until they're done. You don't want to cook them until you see them turning brown because they're going to get darker as they sit after you get them out of the pan. So you don't want to get them real. brown or anything okay i'm going to do a few more batches my battery's about to run dead so i'm going to do a few more batches and then i'll bring you back i'm gonna go ahead and plug my battery in okay y'all don't go nowhere okay this is as far as i've made it i've made this many and i've got to go i've got to go i've got one more batch in there and then i got some more i'm gonna have to finish when i get home but i'm gonna put some salt on these and i'm gonna show you what a crunch. These taste like potato chips. They taste better than potato chips. That you get at the store. Okay, you ready? You hear that? I'm trying to get by the mic.
Now, yes, I would have a problem sitting here and trying to not eat all these. But I know what it takes to make them. And I know that I don't have time to sit around making chips all the time. But when I want them, I know I can make them. Right? So, and they're better. They're better than the store. So this is how to make your own potato chips. This video is how to make your own potato chips. And I hope you guys try it. Hope you can find the time to do it. It's not real time consuming. It's just like, right now I need to turn these, hold on. You just gotta stay with them. You know what I mean? And it takes each batch, it takes me, and I'm cooking them. I was, did have my oil at 275 to 300. Now I've got my oil at like 300 to 325. I kicked it up a little so I could get done. And they probably wouldn't be as dark if you didn't turn your oil up as high. But I don't care if they're dark. You know what I'm saying? They're not that dark. But I like darker potato chips than I do the real light colored ones. But you could do the real light colored ones and you wouldn't be able to I mean, they wouldn't have any dark on them. If you just, you're going to have to cook them slower, you know, and I don't have time to do it. But it don't even matter because they are so good. Mm-mm. Well, I'm going to put a lid on these, or a cover, and let Tim try them when he gets them. He's not a big chip eater, but I am. And... <laughs> And this is going to save me some money, too, y'all. That took two and a half potatoes. I still have a bunch more. My bowl will probably be like this when I get done. And so what do you think that would cost you at the store? Maybe, well, depending on if it's name brand or if it's generic or if it's, you know, a different, uh, cheaper brand. But chips are high. They've hiked chips up in bags so high it's ridiculous. And don't you think this is going to be better for you? It's going to be better for your body. You're not going to have all that, you know, bioengineered ingredients. And I just use peanut oil and potatoes and my Redmond Real Salt. You're not going to have Red 40 in it or the yellow or the all the other different colors. That's I don't even know what it means, but it don't even matter to me because I know that these are more natural. Okay, so there you go. I love you guys, and Lord willing, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.